Hey, good day, guys. Okay, I'm gonna apologize for last week because last week, okay, I went to DreamHack, uh, Melbourne. As you guys know, does you know, was go to DreamHacks and stuff like that as well because I'm a big, well, not a big streamer to be honest. I'm a fucking tiny streamer, but I enjoy the events, get to meet my friends and stuff like that as well. And I had a lot of fucking pictures taken with me as well because I have CSGO cast as well. Like I can't, I commentate for CSGO. So I had a lot of pictures and hung out with a lot of people. I was actually really, really amazed and really, really touched about how many people wanted to hang out with me and stuff like that because I was like kind of like super shocked and all. Like that's pretty much it. But last week I released an episode of uh, State of Economy and I'm like, oh, okay, I'll upload this video. You know, got the timestamps here before I went on the flight. I emailed it to myself as well because I rewatched it when I was over, uh, over in Melbourne. And you would not believe this, okay? I thought I initially got the timestamps wrong in the video and I'm like, oh, God. You know, I must have recorded it wrong. But I completely found out afterwards that I completely uploaded the last week's video. Okay, I didn't realise I had done the, the episode. I, I, the timestamps time were there. It was a very short episode. But I hadn't... Um, what is it? I hadn't... Um, <laughs> I uploaded the previous week's episode. I only realised that when someone commented on it, myself commented on it, and I'm like, oh no, I've uploaded last week's episode by mistake. So... I started to, in the end, I was just like, I got back on Monday, Tuesday. I got a bit busy because there was a few raids. I'm, by the way, with WoW as well, TO2C on the PTR. We'll probably have some discussion about that later as well, of what to expect. But, um, yeah, so pretty much overall, um, with Lost Ark, like, I completely forgot about it. But we got some updates on the news. I did actually talk about this as well, is that they have a Discord server now. So there's two things. They have a Discord server. They got removed or they removed the forums. And also Slayer's coming out. Slayer's basically female Berserker, but a few different class, um, obviously class engravings, which will be probably really highly priced for the first few weeks. Probably not as much as Artist. And then obviously go back in line as well. Now, I do recommend as well joining the Lost Dark Discord. I, I, I guess say right now, like, you know, um, I can understand why I got rid of the forums, to be honest, because forums are all like doom and gloom. And like, there's no actual real discussion or anything like that. And I feel the Lost Dark forums are... A bit different, I suppose. There's been, like, you know, guides being put up as well. There's been a lot of other stuff being put on as well. I feel like it could be a better version of, like, you know, the forums. Instead of having the forums instead, you could have user Discord. But that's yet to be seen. And also, you can have, you can say a lot of other reasons of why to have a Discord is, like, you know, the forums are dead or, you know, stuff like that. Like, it wasn't worth keeping up a forum. It might have been worth keeping up a Discord. This could be potentially a thing for a lot of MMORPGs in the future where they use the Discord and use the ticketing services and stuff like that rather than using their own platform or software. Now, some people may be going, hey, wait a second, you know, this isn't, you know, very good or anything like that. What if Discord goes down and stuff like that? Or have they ever had a, you know, ticketing software thing on the forums? And I can tell you right now they do for ESEA. Basically, I cast CSGO and ESEA is one of the TOs for it. And they do have a ticketing system that exists within Discord and operates uh, knowingly as well. And also, there's a variety of other bots that can work on Discord as well. That's not me saying, you know, defending the decision is a good idea for Lost Ark. I'm just saying it can be done. So, I'm wondering I'm wondering if the case is, like, not many, too many people are posting on the forums and stuff like that. So, Discord might be more conducive or is it something they're trying to do differently. Because they've already tried to address... Uh, player burnout issues given the fact that the game is incredibly grindy and you know if you're trying to grind out six characters then well fuck you can get burnt out very quickly aren't you especially when you're trying to generate a lot of gold some people have already said in the guides on discord as well that you only really need two to three characters and that's it and like you just park the rest and do the raise when you need to and i've got to say with the recent gold nerfs it's actually helped that quite a bit now some of you may be like no one has it and you know now i can't generate so much gold but it also means it disincentivizes it means it doesn't force you to play alts. Like Lost Ark at the start, I enjoyed it because it made you, like it made it was alt friendly, but it get to a point where it forced you to play alts to generate gold, otherwise you'd fall behind. And that was, I felt like one of the biggest issues in the game where that's where I eventually burnt out is that I was trying to keep up six different alts to generate as much gold as I can and not realizing at the same time that, you know, I didn't actually have to, have to do that, but I just felt I was compelled to do that. And it's FOMO for a reason, okay? But anyways, Let's just get into it. Let's get into the bosses. I just wanted to update you guys for the last video because that was a bit sloppy from me. But we'll see what happens. Like, that's, I, I just can't believe I uploaded the wrong video, okay? Like, I'm still in disbelief. Anyways, I actually got on early today to check if anything was in here. 
but this is actually the first time I've seen Abyssal Dungeons empty. I am not surprised by this at, at any imagination. Um, Amazon and Smilegate have been trying to get everyone to Argos, okay? Or uh, even past Argos, okay? So I'm not surprised by this, okay? So Argos, I'm going to say right now, is probably going to be pretty dead. Every, they're trying to get them to the Legion Raids, because the Legion Raids are actually probably one of the most fun of the contents in this game. Argos and the Abyssal Dungeons are probably not really that fun, okay? And I gotta say, you know, it's a bit of a sad, sad ending to some of these dungeons, but, you know, as to be expected. A few people doing hard mode Voltan at the moment. Not many people want actually going to ma mention here. Maybe they've already done the hard mode. This is like the first time where I've seen Voltan and Vikas only having one page. But you can see here, not many, too many bosses at the moment. Or well, there's a few bosses for Cuckle Sidon. As I, as I always remember, guys, I always said, you know, I'm surprised that there's bosses for Cuckle Sidon. You can see here, 10k, 12k. And last but not least, you probably got a whole bunch for Belshaza. And I can put it down to like, you know, last time we looked at it, there were buses. But it could be, it could be the case that, you know, a lot of people have already done theirs, or a lot of buses have already been done, or a lot of people are just focusing on hard mode Belshaza at the moment, and they're not going to buses at the moment at all. But then again, you know, there's already a bus for hard mode, so maybe I'm, maybe I'm just uh, underestimating it basically as well. But that's pretty much it. So just be aware at the same time with the bosses that there could be less bosses, mainly because of the fact that, hey, you know, that people try to get the progression done rather than doing the, these bosses. Okay, next up we're going to go to the Mario store. And let's check the Mario store. I'll see how that's going. Now, I want to pick something up for the Mario store as well. Be aware, with the blue crystal prices being quite low, that you can buy some of the relic books for quite cheap. So be aware of that as well. That basically, based on the blue crystal price, about 2k. Um, this is basically about 2.5k gold. Now, the relic prices, of course, of these may be a bit less, but keep an eye on it, out on, eye on it as well, because you know, you may want to pick some of these up, because you can see here, I think, at the moment in the uh, Mario Secret Shop, there's actually a few of them already on sale, and actually one of them's going very, very shortly, so you might, might want to pick this one up if you've, you know, got the time or got the crystals for it. Now here, blue crystal price is at 2.1k, it's just stayed steady. It's still very, very low from where it was previously, whereas at here, 4 or 5k, still a good thing. I feel like these blue crystal prices have settled, so that 1.8k, that 2.1k, I think 1.8k is very, very low, but that 2.1k is probably gonna, where it's going to settle at, and it's going to slowly inflate, inflate, inflate over time. It's not going to stupendously inflate like it was previously, it's just going to do it bit by bit each time. So I wouldn't be surprised if this goes up by, you know, 30 or 40 gold. Next up, we're going to go to the AH. So the AH, um, I guess say right now, AH, this is actually another time where, actually it's the first time in, uh, I think, three weeks, actually, because last week I did the episode, Structure and Stones weren't 1G. And you can see here, all of, them, all of these are 1G. The tier 3 met weapon mats won't be 1G. Protection stones are 3G. How many leap stones keep getting less and less? I wouldn't be surprised if this is 1G in the future. Same with life leap stones as well. Auto Leap Stones go back up to 10G. They're actually single digits last week. They were at 7G. Simple Rays are 13. Ooh, Tier 2 Fusion Mat's quite high. That's very, very unusual. I feel like that's just a... a... a temporary blip. But it could... Like, you know, if it happens next week, it means that you could make a bit of money in Tier 2 Mats if you want to go that way with your Stronghold. And that, that's only given for people who are not trying to hone their gear to any other level. Now, Fusion Mats are right, Fusion Mats are 15. I guess say the Fusion Mats are a bit higher in price. Like, you know, it's probably about 2 to 3G above average. Obliteration Stones are still where they're at. Great Island Leaf Stones at 20G. Solar Grace is below 25G. Um, Ray of Fusion Materials still going up in price. Harmony Shards, I guess say, these Harmony Shard pouches have been dropping like hotcakes. And it's getting to the point where is it worth even running Rift Maps in general? Unless you've got a good group, of course, like a good group that's organized. Is it worth sitting there? In chat, trying to get all your rift maps done when the Harmony Shard Pouch is nothing. Solar Shard Brushes, like, you know, not Solar Shard Brushes, sorry, Solar solar Blessings. I don't know why I say Solar Shard Blessings. I, don't, don't ask me, okay? Life Shard Pouches are pretty cheap. Honor Shard Pouches is starting to overtake Life Shard Pouches here as well. But as you can see here, uh, I guess you can go back to Harmony Shard prices, but like I say, look on the average price. I would say if you want to do like money making overall from Rifts now, it could be just buy tier two, two tier two maps and one tier three map. As you can see here, like how many shard pouches have been very, very volatile. People trying to sell them for 354G. 
<laughs> I do not think they are going to get that. Honestly, sorry for yawning, guys. I do not think they're going to get that at all. And as you can see here for the relic, uh, relic thingos, I guess they right now the blue crystal prices don't buy them, given the fact they're a lot cheaper here. But they've gone down. They've come down a quite a long way. I don't know they used to be like two to three k each, which was insanity. Now you've got side real energy as well. Side real energy going down to about six hundred k. Also, not to mention as well, the new WoW currency is called Side Real Energy. And I wonder how quickly that name's going to change before Smilegate try to sue them in the ground. <laughs> if you don't know about it, you can check the Wrath of Lich King uh, PTR and they've called the new currency Side Real Energy. And I'm like going, I remember this from Lost Ark. I don't think you can actually do that, you know. So next up, we're going to go to the uh, battle items. So we're going to go to recovery first. Uh, as you can see here, HP potions, elemental potions. It's going to go up. Okay, they're above, they're above 30 now. So now they're neutral. They're very, very neutral at the moment. We're going to go to offensive, sleep bombs. I'm going to say at the moment, if you want to buy grenades and stuff like that, this is the time to buy grenades to blow 30G. You know, that's what you want to go for. Um, Flares. Well, I guess they're right now. Probably none of these are too huge. Oh, and then the Panacea. We've got 26G. And then we get the buffs as well. Um... Mostly, you, you get the sprinters robes and stuff like that as well, which people do purchase. And overall, we're going to go to the cooking. Let's check out the cooking prices at the moment. Of course, you've got all the old school stuff. And like I say, the cooking prices have gone up and tier 2 food is more than tier 3 food. It's killing me, okay? But either way, tier 3 and tier 2 food have gone up to 610G each. That's quite a bit. I'll actually double check something as well. I'll check the array of materials. To see how much that is. Like, you know, carps 10G, relic... I'm going to say, like, I don't see why the feast price has gone up by that much. I mean, if you look at the array of feet, meat, relics, and solar carp, I don't think it should have gone up by as much as it did, because that's relatively cheap. I don't know. It's confusing to me, actually. Very, very confusing to me. Like, I, I just actually legitimately uh, don't get it. Uh, next up, we're going to go to engravings. And engravings, let's just check out how engravings are going at the moment. And actually got to check a few things as well, by the way, guys. Yep, yeah, green engravings. Let's go. Let's go to greens. So, I say last episode. Obviously, it wasn't published, but greens were starting to really pick up in price. But check out the greens here. I guess it's just drawing back a bit. I think there could be some gold selling here as well. I mean, necromancy and propulsion. Anyone buying these? I just don't see it. Um, looking at these overall, there's a few emergency rescues. I'm going to say overall... Um, the green, the green engravings are slowly becoming more expensive over time if you want that extra engraving as well. It's like really, really expensive, which I'm really not too shocked by as there's not many new players coming to Lost Ark. Therefore, like the green and blues, as I've said so many times before, are just less, like just a lot less. Now looking at these blues as well, and I can say here blues, well, they've, uh, yeah, like I said, they've drawn, they've drawn back in price a bit, but it's just mostly the class ones. I expect next week, by the way, for, uh, like, let's be real, for Slayer. I think these prices for Slayer is going to be, like, 300, 400 G or 500 G. You never know. Next up, we're going to check the Epics. The Epics should be pretty much the same. I mean, I don't see the Epics changing, just 1 G overall. And you get some decent engravings, which, you know, will be, you know, 20 G or anything like that. Now we're going to get to Legendary. I think I expect Legendary to draw back a bit. Look at, like, you know, this is the unheard of legendary uh, engravings being, like, below triple digits. Like, you know, especially for these ones as well, like Berserker Technique, 111G. Like, I remember when these were 8G, 8AG a pop. Like, you know, it's just insane how how much the uh, legendary engravings have dropped, even due to being able to get a lot more of them, and, you know, more of them dropping from raids and also the ones being offered out. But, jeez, like, you know, there's some of that are incredible. Like, Reed Carrots, for example... 300g. I, like, every time I say recommend, hey, you can probably buy them or wait at this stage, I'm not terribly too sure anymore. Like, I'm just going to say straight up that, like, you can wait to buy them. But at the end of the day, like, will legendary engravings go up? That's the real question. Sorry, full bloom's a good one. Isn't that right? Yeah, full bloom is a good one. Sorry, I completely got that wrong. But, um... I'm just sitting there thinking, like, you know, do you just buy up now? Like, you know, because, or later, because, like, the price just keeps dropping. Like, you can get a lot of quality engravings for less than four digits in the legendary engraving area, which is insanity. Like, it's insanely cheap. And it's 
really, really good, obviously. I mean, remember back in the days, like, basically, Grudge was over 10k. Regardless, over 10k. It's not even, it's, it's like, almost half of what it is at the moment. And I gotta say, with engravings, with legendary engravings, I, I, I thought they were gonna recover in price, probably last month. But I don't think they're gonna recover in price. So I gotta say right now, if you got a legendary engraving, that's pretty decent, sell it. Because I feel like those prices are gonna keep going down and down and down. So you know, you know if you you know have one drop for you as well, because obviously you can't flip engravings anymore. Because geez, they are just getting down rapidly. I mean, there's only two engravings you can see there that are over six k at all, which is you know incredible. Now I'm gonna go to pets and skins. I may discontinue discontinue the pets and skins, but we're just gonna do it anyway because I guess might as well do it. But we're gonna do the pets first. So the pets. I'm going to say, pets haven't really been too liquid. They've been more liquid in the skin market, but I guess the newer ones have been the ones that you used. The skin market, I've got to say, like, I reckon the skin market will eventually get back down to where it was previously. Like, you know, I'm going to say right now, we'll probably get back down to where it was when it's not super, super liquid. And the main reason for that is that, basically, overall, is that the main reason why we'll get, you know, stop becoming a lot more liquid it's because people were starting to see a settlement in price at the moment with all their um, with all their engravings, all the pets and stuff like that. I gotta say the platinum stuff have gone down a lot. Like the complimentary skins, stuff like that. The platinum founders pack has gone down a ton. I mean, I remember when people were selling these for 300 k but now nobody's selling them. But you can see here that uh, I guess it's still not too liquid in the market. As you can see here, it's not many people buying it. Yeah. I, I feel like a lot of people... Um, are trying to keep the inflated price of it and a lot of people just waiting okay waiting for them to come back on offer again and i think a lot of people who you know bought into skins when the gold price is a lot higher they're starting to feel a lot of the burn a lot of the gold drop as well because they're going to be losing gold on this given that blue crystal prices have plummeted basically they, they've they're plummeted by about uh 60 so i feel like a lot of these people trying to get gold based on, you know, their net cost value, but they're not going to get it. As you can see here, not many people are interested in buying it. Next up, we're going to go to the gems. And the gems, tier 3 gems have gone back down. They were 600G last time I looked at it, okay? These, like, 600G, which I was, like, sitting there going, like, what the hell? Also, I'm going to say right now, if you want to purchase some, buy some, okay? Like, buy some of these gems if you, if you need gems, which is unlikely at this point, because this is actually very, very cheap compared to the tier 3. You know, the other tier 3 gem you can get. Okay, we're going to change this to all. And we're going to change this to recent prices. Because, just an FYI, Dead Eyes, uh... If you wouldn't believe it or not, Dead Eyes, uh... Don't get too much love. Now, the sale price at the moment. So, just checking at the moment. 8.5k. I feel like it's gone... If I can stay neutral. Or maybe it may even gone up slightly. But I think it stayed neutral. Um, overall, 8.5k. It's below 10k. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to keep going down. There's too much supply in the market for gems. And gems is, if you get a good gem, just sell it on the market. Especially level 7, if people still buy it, that is. That's the, probably the main thing you want to look at is, if do people still buy level 7 gems? If the answer is yes, then you put it up. The main reason why I feel like this market is going to keep collapsing, keep going down. It's probably going to get an 8k or 7k. Or get to some point where it just stabilizes and just doesn't do anything after that. Next up, we got relics. I guess say right now, relics is another area where they're going to keep collapsing. I mean... For the first time in a long time that a, a relic gem has really been below 200k for the last two weeks have been below 200k i would say the damage gems have gone up because the damage gem sold for 300k last week and the lowest one has been for 315k so i feel like the cooldown and the damage or relic gems have found a stop okay they found a stop where they're just stopping and holding for that for that moment i would say like level 10 if you're a level 10 gem that you're not using sell give it to alt whatever it is just be aware that you can probably get a pretty penny for it as well which you can use to buy the you know best of slow accessories which you know critical very very critical for some classes okay and some people want to gear out like multiple alts like gems are probably the best way to do it at this stage now next up we're going to go to the accessories so we're going to go to the accessories at this stage i'm just going to be real with you guys um basically a lot of these are now all gold selling Okay, like I gotta say right now, like half of it is a gold ceiling. Anything over a million is gold ceiling at this point. Nah. Anything, I guess say anything over well you can tell here actually as well. Anything over, I guess say maybe for the relics, I'm gonna say anything over like 40k is gold ceiling. I'm gonna say right now, anything over 40k is gold ceiling. And you can see it here, like you know, I guess some of these are pretty good as well. Maybe under a hundred K, but uh, I'm not sure. 
I'm not sure, okay? But there are a few good ones. Maybe, maybe like I said, maybe Mar it's like anything above 100k, unless it's like the best, best, best. Uh, they are they are gold sellers. Now we're gonna go to Ancient as well. And Ancient? Well, I gotta say, if you want the best pieces, you're, pl you're paying a lot. I mean, I guess I don't think this is really worth 1.2 mil. This is, yeah, this is definitely gold selling. There's a, there's a few of them out there where you just sit there going, like, yeah, I don't think they're worth that much. Could be gold selling, you never know. Let's see. Yeah, well, that's gold selling. I guess some of them aren't gold selling. I gotta say, like, you know, if you want a really, like, top tier ones, you're paying obviously six digits. But I gotta say, like, if you want, like, mid tier ones that, you know, offer, oh, you know, this one's, that one's, I guess, that one's a steal. I know defense reduction free is pretty huge, but that one's a steal. I mean, Six free, like you know, of course, you can make the other ones balance as well with plus one. But I gotta say, these days, like a lot of the a lot of the uh accessories aren't being valued on the engravings that they offer, but the defense, the negative engraving that it offers. But I gotta say, overall, you can there's a lot of decent ones up here as well, which you can get for very, very cheap. I mean, a lot of them are for 90k. Obviously, the plus six plus threes. I guess right now, if it's a plus five, plus three, it's just not worth getting, to be honest. You're better off getting the better engravings, because engravings contribute to your DPS so, so much for most classes. But as you can see here, like, you know, there's a, there's a lot of them for, like, you know, 80Ks. I mean, you only, like, some of the good ones, like, even though they're obviously not the best, as in the quality, like, you can get for very, very cheap. I wonder, like, you know, if it gets any better. Well, let's see. Oh, jeez, cursed dog. Oh, okay, it's got swiftness on it, okay. So even an off-spec item's alright. Oh, jeez. I wonder who got this one. This one's actually really, really good. I mean, 6 Adrenaline, free KBW for 50k. That's pretty good. Anyways, let's, we got to get out of this, okay? If I was not going to finish the episode. As you can see here, Specialization and Crit Reign Supreme. I mean, this one for Specialization as well is pretty good. Oh, uh, Encore. Ah, uh, you know. I can say, they really need to make these special like procs a lot better because like some of the special procs are just so garbage like you're not gonna lie they're so so garbage next up we're gonna go to ability stones we're gonna go to relics uh, ability stones i'm gonna say is the prime area for gold selling as you may have noticed you can see there see there's a lot of gold selling but i guess it's drawn back a bit let's see what the price is at the moment oh our price has actually gone up they were like 1.1k previously now they're sneaking up to the 2k area as well and I guess I've got to say it's just a lot of people trying to go for that 9-7. A lot of people trying to go for the 5x3, 1x2. Like the max possible one you can get at this stage. And you can see it here. Like you can see it here because people, you know, the ability stone prices have stayed pretty stable for the last two months or so. And anyways, anyways, guys, that's gonna be it for today. A long episode today. Um, overall, I've got to say, we'll see in the next few months or so how this Discord strategy works for Lost Ark. We'll see how Slayer's received. And we'll see, you know, how they address the burnout as well. You know, it's going to be another thing as well, how they're going to address that burnout. But anyways, guys, have a good one. See you guys later. Peace out. Bye.